Welcome back to another episode of Worth a Try, where we give you our honest opinion of a video game and let you know if we feel like it's worth you taking the time to try it out or not. And today we'll be taking a look at Hard West 2 for the PC. Keep in mind, I was provided a review code for this video. I remember way back many, 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 many weeks ago, I seen a YouTuber. Matter of fact, I think it was Angry Joe posted about a game being Wild West version of XCOM. And he was referring to Hard West 2. So being a, uh, a casual fan of XCOM, I said, shoot, I might as well try this game out check it out and instantly enjoyed the game so I was like yeah this is definitely something I want to check out when it releases I played the beta on my PC but I actually reviewed the game on my Steam Deck at launch it didn't have 100% uh, compatibility with the Steam Deck but it didn't take too much uh, tweaking to get it to actually run on the Steam Deck so if you're curious to know if you can play this on the steam deck yes you can play it on there. hard west 2 kicks off with the tutorial and drops you in the shoes of con man jen carter and his posse as they are on the hunt for gold aboard the ghost train of legend soon after realizing this ghost train really is a ghost train things take a turn for the worse now it's up to jen to regroup with his posse and recover what they have lost after the tutorial you pick back up as jen attempting to regroup and figure out what actually happened to them on the train and how they ended up the way they are gameplay is pretty much split into two parts you have your open world map that you'll use to travel around from points of interest where you can also do some light exploration where you might come across some side missions or some other resources that you can use throughout the game during this time you can also take rests and speak to your different posse members find out a little bit more about their their backstories but the main aspect of the gameplay is obviously the combat this is a turn-based tactical combat system so if you're not used to that buckle up and pay attention to that tutorial because you're going to have to master everything it teaches you to have a chance against some of these uh tougher battles in the game each turn you start with three ability points and you have to use these points to do anything whether it's attacking moving taking cover using items and depending on what the item is or the attack or the distance you're moving it'll vary between the points so that means if you use a move that only takes one point or two points you still have a point left to do something else so just because you do one thing doesn't necessarily mean that character's turn is over which is a, a great thing in a turn-based combat game like this you also have character abilities from things like switching positions with different characters switching hp with different characters firing bullets in different directions firing through objects to hit enemies ricocheting bullets off of items to hit an enemy that might not be able to hit otherwise things like that so you have a plethora of options to tackle the enemies but i think the best option available to you is the bravado system basically anytime you kill an enemy or an ally your ability points automatically get refilled so if you kill somebody and that was the end of your points you're instantly back to three ability points so you can go through it all over again and it'll refill every time even if you got like 10 kills in a row it's gonna refill every time and that's like the best feeling of hard west 2 in my opinion getting those crazy kill streaks sitting and thinking how can i set this enemy up to get a kill to get killed so i can fill up somebody else's bravado and keep it going as long as i can definitely the best thing about the game in my opinion while the game does encourage you to use the bravado system it also lets you know it's a risk and reward in doing so because you see those kills racking up it makes you want to push forward with that character further and further into the enemy territory but by doing so you're leaving your character open to attacks from the enemies and when you don't get a kill you know then the rest of your team is way <laughs> across the map or whatever so you do have to kind of balance out when to when to push for it and when not to push for it especially when you reach one of the times in the game where i feel like there's a a bit of a difficulty spike to start off you already pick between three difficulties i think it's easy hard and like nightmare i played on hard and i would say computer is a pretty good challenge on hard on their own uh, they're pretty competent they know when to hide they know when to take different angles to get to you they know where they can see you from before you know you know so computers no slouch on hard no on hard difficulty so i can't even imagine them on nightmare but as you go through the story they become even more difficult and the number of enemies become increased as well so definitely take advantage of the bra bravado system that's put there to help you counter so many enemies in, in a battle but sometimes it just seems i don't know i guess you could say unfair in a sense from the amount of enemies to shoot their attacks all types of things but bravado <laughs> it's your best friend use it learn it master it there's not really too much in the aspect of uh customizing your character unfortunately and there's not a real leveling system neither so you have some light upgrades to your characters through like the card system where essentially you give your players poker hands 
to increase their passive abilities and sometimes unlock different abilities but that's a, about as far as it goes as is in the sense of leveling up characters so not really too much of that going on and uh really the only other thing you customize is what items they carry into battle uh consumables and stuff like that or weapons but no real customization no leveling system so if you're looking for something that lets you customize your characters look elsewhere you don't have much of that here i did like the uh card system idea of uh leveling up your not leveling up your characters but boosting up your character's traits and it pretty much shows you on the side of the characters what they're already good at so it kind of gives you the template to build them out further into those areas there's really no point in trying to deviate outside of those things they're already good at so you might as well just go ahead and fill those passive traits up you also have loyalty points for your characters and your posse throughout the story you'll be faced with different choices and depending on how you answer questions or who you send to do certain tasks things like that it'll uh, unlock loyalty points for different characters and based off those loyalty points you might get different options for a mission different mission outcome um i want to say it can go towards like their abilities as well if i'm not mistaken they might get like a boost in their abilities or their passes or something like that but yeah and uh not everyone you don't have to give your characters loyalty points you can't lose loyalty points you just pretty much choose who gets them keep that in mind hard west 2 is good at what it's meant to be and it does not try to hide what kind of game it is if you're not into wild west settings for video games or turn-based tactical combat this might not be the game for you so when it comes down to it what i say hard west 2 is worth a try or not i would definitely say it is worth a try but only if you're into tactical turn-based combat games or just love the wild west settings with games as well if you are looking forward to checking out midnight suns and are looking for a new game to check out in that vein since it got delayed give hard west 2 a try i think it might be able to scratch that itch for you all right hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe comment share it with your friends and be sure to check back here daily for more content from us at on the sticks thanks